Hey, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. So in here, we want this information to be savable to the database. So what we would do is add names to the input boxes, but we forgot one input here, which is um, pricing, right? So I'm just going to add it here. So back to the course landing page view and where are these guys? These guys are right here. So I'm just going to add one more at the bottom here. Okay. Now this one has, um, let me try to add a label here and say pricing. Let's see what that does. Okay, so it has a title there, that's fine. And um, wait, it's too much space on the top there. Let me put two. In fact, let me put margin bottom, not the top. Okay, so that's fine. Why is the margin bottom not so much? Let's see here. Okay. So pricing there. Now for pricing, we need several of these selects. Uh, this one has, wait, okay. It goes all the way to the six there, but let's put another one. Oh yeah. I should have put this inside form group or something. Let's see if I put a div here and class form group or input group actually then let's put the label up there oops let's see how that changes things okay still fine that's great but let me move this one wait this is outside yeah. let me put it inside this one like so Okay. Yeah, no, that doesn't work very well. Okay, so this is not the way. Let's remove this. So there's pricing here, and let me duplicate these guys a few times. So I'm just going to do this. Okay, so here, uh, currency. It should be double R somewhere. And select price. Okay. Okay, so currency here and price. Cool. Uh, let me make these not so... Let me put this one at and this one at eight mm, let's refresh okay much better so select currency select price good pricing should be in bold so it's easily visible all right cool same as description i guess let me bold it right okay much better okay pretty cool everything is uh, accounted for here so let's add some names to this content so there's an input here uh, let me add name and say course underscore title let me put this one name here course subtitle I hope all these are already there in the let's check in the in the structure of the courses table so wait what am I doing course subtitle course title okay it's not course title it's just title and then there's subtitle title there's actually no subtitle here Okay, 
Okay, we can add it there, no problem. Subtitle and then categories. There's a description, let's see that. Yes. So for uh, this one needs a name as well. Description. Okay, and we have language. So this one name, language ID. Uh, this one is a level ID and this one is category ID this one is subcategory ID maybe there's a, an underscore there let me see that yes subcategory ID uh, what else pricing we don't have a currency yet, so I'll just put currency there, that's fine. And this one is name price ID. So there's also currency ID, I guess, since there are multiple ones of these. Primary subject, that's the input there name. Primary underscore subject. Now be careful with the capitalization here. Don't capitalize if it's not capitalized. And this should be the table um, column. And what else? Hmm. We have an image. Let's see here. Hmm. Actually, we don't need to put anything here for the images and we don't need to put that in. Actually, we didn't even need to put names here, did we? Oh, maybe we did just for simplicity okay for identification we needed to so let's add subtitle and currency since they're not here so i'm going to go to the structure add two columns here click go and subtitle variable character 100 that's fine and then here currency okay um this will be currency ID. Okay, so we'll leave that at int, which is fine. And uh, subtitle, let's put no and that no as well. Actually, currency ID, let's put a default value, not the no here. The default value will be one. Uh, or we can put zero. Uh, that's up to us. Maybe let's put okay let's try and put no so we can do this in uh in php so let me save oops invalid default value none save all right great so if we go back to udemy db and courses select and show create then we can copy this back to our create side. All right, so back here we go to database file. Where is that? Database in the core. And let's look for courses table, which is the biggest. And let's paste right here. Okay, why did things go down? It's weird. I hope I pasted only on the required part mm, okay seems like right great okie dokie so everything seems uh, fine now it's just time to submit the information when we click the save button so here if i type something the save button should come active and there it does so if i click it should start saving and let me put an auto um, on the course landing page. This is course title. On this input, I want auto focus. That way uh, it loads with focus. I don't know if that will work at all or not. No, it doesn't work because we are loading this with um, JavaScript. So I guess auto focus is meaningless here. We can do a focus using uh, JavaScript, so that's fine. 
Okay, so now that we have this, all we need to do is add some information in here because this is an edit page uh, after all. So it needs to come with information here, not empty like this. So whatever has information should be put there already. Okay, good. But the first thing we need to do is load in um, all the languages, all the subcategories, all the levels, etc., etc. So we need to add these things there beforehand so that we can load them here. But course title, we can show that no problem. So in order to show this part of the thing, if I go to courses view, uh, because when I click on a tab, that's when it loads that tab information. So it does that by using the send data, which is exactly what we did here, right? Now, instead of doing it this way, I could do it this other way. Just put the, the object directly in there. It looks much cleaner. So here we can just say tab name and then put a full colon and then put the value and then put a comma like this. So I can do this as well, data type, put that data type there and put read right there okay and what else i just added two things right that's enough so i can remove all of this here so it's like that much much easier now instead of um we have the tab we have the data type we can add one more item to send and this one is the course id so let me do this and say course id Okay, that way at least we know what course we are reading from. And so how do we know the course ID? Well, since we're on the edit page here, uh, where is this? Courses edit, is this where we are? Yes, we're right here on the edit and the content is inside this tab. But remember that we have the, uh, the row of the course that we're editing inside this this right there okay now since we have it there we can um we can put the id somewhere so let me come down here to where we are saying cos id here now remember that if i put something like this uh since an ID is a number, we don't need quotes. So we're just going to do that. If I do this, I can echo out row and ID like that. Okay, and close this. This will work just fine. If I want uh, quotes, I can put single quotes on the outside like this. If in case it's a string that I'm echoing, but let's just put those just for safety. This will work because by the time the page comes to the browser, this would have already been turned into a number by PHP. So that's why this will work. It will just be course ID and it will write the current course ID. But it's possible this course ID might not exist. So let's put those two question marks here. And then if it doesn't, we just tell it to echo either zero or an empty string like that. Okay, and then we close the PHP tags like so. Okay, so now we have course ID as well in there. And I can show you this by, if I go to the landing page uh, where information is added here, remember that this one is included from here. So whatever PHP is done here will be available in this one because this is an include. And here we know that post is what contains the post data, right? So if I copy this and come down here, and this is course landing page, but if I want to echo, uh, the course ID, I can do so like this, close that. But this one is course ID, which was sent in the post like that. Okay, so we can see it. If I come back here, let's refresh. Okay, so warning undefined array key course ID. Wait a minute. How did I send it as? It's course ID, right? Hmm. 
Okay, what's wrong with this? What is happening? Cos ID. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, so there's an include here. All right, let me try and echo it from the other side. Let's come here to admin and let me uh, let me paste it here. So we're going to echo it from here. I'll just say echo uh, like that. So let's see if that produces an error as well. No, it doesn't. So it shows that the ID is two. Okay, which is right there in there. So things are working fine. Now we're going to use this ID. We need to be able to echo it in here as well, but no matter, we're going to manage that. So we're going to use that ID to read information from the database about this course so we can fill that information in this form that we are bringing back so that it's not completely empty. Okay, so let's do that in the next video.